हेलो दिस इज डॉक्टर महेश कल्याण शेट्टी असोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ ब्रिजेस बेस्ड ऑन लोड ट्रांसफर मैकेनिज्म द लर्निंग आउटकम वुड बी एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ ब्रिजेस बेस्ड ऑन देयर लोड ट्रांसफर मैकेनिज्म let us understand what is a bridge a bridge is a structure what which permits you to cross over an obstacle bridge helps us to connect to each other and subsequently to the world so as in the photograph it is seen that a uh, uh, um, structural media helps us to cross an obstacle and that particular structural media we call it as an bridge now there are four main types of bridges which are based on the load transfer mechanism one is a beam second one is an arch third one is a suspension and fourth one is a cable stayed so these all are the types based upon the load transfer mechanism and what we observe is that in in all such cases all such types of bridges the load transfer mechanism is very very specific let us discuss about the first type beam bridge a beam or a girder bridge is the simplest and the most inexpensive kind of bridge a beam bridge consists of an horizontal beam as it is shown in this picture a horizontal beam is supported at each end either by the piers or the abutments the beam itself must be very strong to carry the load and it should not bend under its self weight and then additional superimposed load so in the right hand side in the basic beam bridge this particular load transfer mechanism is been shown uh, the two supports and over the two support that particular girder or the beam is rested the second one is an arch bridge now in the arch bridges the load transfer mechanism is quite different than the beam bridge arch bridges are one of the oldest type of bridges and have great natural strength instead of pushing straight down the weight of an arch bridge is carried outward along the curve of the arch to the support at each end so the basic difference is that instead of transferring the load vertically the load is transferred horizontally along the arch or the curve of the arch and ultimately the load is transferred to the edge support so these supports which we call it as an abutments carry the load and keep the ends of the bridges from spreading out so these are some pictures which uh, explains the load transfer mechanism the arch is squeezed together and this squeezing force is carried outward along the curve to the supports at each end the supports called abutments push back on the arch and prevent the ends of the arch from spreading out so uh, in the photograph we can see a typical arch bridge where the load of the superstructure is been transferred horizontally to the end supports the next one is an suspension bridge where uh, suspenders are used and this suspension bridge suspends the roadway from huge main cable which extend from one end of the bridge to other end these cables rest on top of high tower and are secured at each end by anchorages in the subsequent slides we will see the photograph aesthetic light and strong these are the speciality of the suspension bridge and it can have a span in the range of 2000 to 7000 feet they also tend to be the most expensive to build 
So this is a typical photograph of the suspension bridge which also gives us some information regarding the load transfer mechanism. So the vertical two supports which we call it as a tower and these towers are always under compressions because the main cable runs over this particular tower and on the main cable we have a suspenders these suspenders are connected to the superstructure so ultimately the weight of the superstructure is taken by the suspender and these suspender loads are transferred to the main cable and these main cables are passing over the towers therefore the towers will be subjected to huge amount of vertical force and the complete load of the superstructure is transferred to the tower and at the same time there are the anchorages at the edges so this particular cables main cables are anchored at the edges so that the load also will be transferred to the anchors these are some photographs of the suspension bridge first one is in singma bridge in hong kong where you can see this particular suspender uh, and the main cable and then the towers the second two pictures second and third are the pictures of golden gate bridge a famous bridge in san francisco california then the fourth type is a cable straight bridge in a cable straight bridge the load transfer mechanism is quite different than the suspension bridge a cable straight bridges may look similar to the suspension bridges both have the roadways that are hang from the cables and both have the towers however there is a difference in the load transfer mechanism in the suspension bridge the cables ride freely across the towers transmitting the loads to the anchorages at either end whereas in the cable straight bridges the cables are attached to the towers which alone bear the load so this is the main difference so for example in the bottom picture in the sus suspension bridge the load is been taken by the suspenders and from the suspender the load is transferred to the main cable and these main cables are anchored at the end therefore the load is transferred to the anchors whereas in the cable straight bridges the loads are directly transferred to the supports the towers so this particular cables will take the load and these cables are tied to this uh, interior support therefore the load is directly transferred to the towers the cables can be attached to the roadway on a variety of ways so there are different pattern of the cables in a radical pattern cables extend from several points on the road to a single point at the top of the tower as seen in the picture the the cable starts from different different points on the road and it goes to straight to the point at the top of the tower so this is called as a radical pattern whereas there is an another pattern called a parallel pattern wherein cables are attached at different heights along the tower and running parallel to one another so instead of joining all the cables at one particular point the the cables are tied at different different points so those are called as parallel pattern so thank you thank you very much